Okay, in this video we're going to talk about number two from the 2016 Calc BC exam, and it's the parametric vector e question. Um, and it's a little different this year. So uh, what we're given is we're given that dx dt is t squared plus sine of 3t squared. And we're also given a graph of y of t. So that's not the graph of the derivative. It's actually the graph of y of t. So that's the graph of the component function, I guess. Um, so you better... Better store that function on your calculator because you're going to use it a lot. Um, so that's kind of your first step with any of these. Just look at it a couple times, make sure it's in there correctly, and then you won't have to worry about like copy errors and things like that. Okay, so uh, for this problem, we're going to try to find the position of the particle at t equals 3. We know at t equals 0, the particle is at 5, 1. That's given in kind of the stem of the question. So uh, two different things we're going to do. One, we're going to use the fundamental theorem to find x. So... Um, looking for the position at t equals 3. So for x, we're going to use fundamental theorem. So x of 3 should be x of 0 plus the integral from 0 to 3 of x prime of t dt. Um, definitely a calculator question. So uh, what I did was I stored, uh, I always store the derivative as dx or dy. So dx of t, I stored. And when I did 5 plus the integral from 0 to 3 of dx dt dt, you can see there. Um, so I know that the x-coordinate at t equals 3 is 14.377. To find the y-coordinate, I just have to look at the graph of y of t and realize that it's a graph of y of t. So at t equals 3, um, I'm right there, so that's going to be 3, negative 1 half. So I can say that the position overall is 14.377, uh, comma, negative 0.5. I use decimal because, I don't know, it seems like a very decimal type problem. All right, let's look at the next part. So the next part, um, we want to find the slope of the line tangent to the path of the particle at t equals 3. So we need to remember that dy dx is um, dy dt over dx dt. And we want to do this at t equals 3. So um, at 3, uh, dy dt is 1 half because the slope of that line segment, you go up 1 over 2. Um, so at t equals 3, dy dt is 1 half. And then... Uh, dx dt is definitely going to take a calculator, so I use calculator on this. I did 1 half divided by dx of 3. Remember, I stored dx as the derivative, and I got 0 0.050. So approximately 0 0.050, and we're done with that part. Uh, the next question is to find the speed of the particle at t equals 3. So speed is the magnitude of velocity, so I need to know the velocity vector um, so I can find its magnitude. Um, so it's square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared. Um, so I know dy dt is one half, and it, I definitely need a calculator um, for dx dt. So let's do that. So the speed's going to be, uh, I'm going to say x prime of 3 uh, plus the quantity one half squared. And then I use the calculator. So I'd use the calculator two different ways. The first way is the way that I always do it. I just find the norm of the vector, um, but I'm very familiar with doing that. If you're not very familiar with doing that, it might take you more time to do that, and so it might be faster to just punch in exactly what you're doing. Uh, either way, I got 9.969, uh, 9 so about 9.969. Okay, so that's the speed. And then the last question uh, is a common question, but it's a little different this time because uh, dy dt is weird. So we want the total distance traveled from 0 to 2. So since dy dt switches from uh, one particular constant to another particular constant, we're going to have to break this up. So uh, from 0 to 1, dy dt is down 2 over 1, so negative 2. And then from 1 to 2, dy dt, you can see, is just going to be 0. So I actually need to do two different integrals. So uh, distance traveled is the integral of speed. So I'm going to do, let's see, two different things. So from 0 to 1, uh, I'm going to have dx dt, so x prime of t squared, um, plus the quantity negative 2 squared dt. And then uh, from 1 to 2, it's going to be dx dt squared again, plus, now this time dy dt is 0, so it's not actually contributing anything like that. Um, this is very much a calculator question. So uh, the distance is equal to, here's my calculator screen. Um, so I just did the two integrals, added them together. I did in one shot. Um, I get 4.350, I guess. 
um, because of the rounding and the rounding. So 4.350, that's the entire question. So it's, it's kind of a little twist on the normal question that we see with this, uh, but really not that bad. A lot of calculator work. Uh, hope you found this helpful, and good luck.